think if we work together all the time, it might be different. But because we kind that of work... work... What? That would also work. It would. <laughs> he's an absolutely brilliant improviser. Uh, he's a very good coach. He sees things very well. And he's very good at working with people. He's personable. He has good personality. Oh. He's funny. But he's also, you know, he's got some authority. So... God. This is, <laughs> this is too good to be true, isn't it? It's rehearsed. No, oh, I think he's really... Um, impressive in the working situation. I'm, I uh, respect him a lot. So, yeah. That oh, means a my lot. love. Oh. <laughs> and what about Susie then? Yeah, she's good. <laughs> I mean, it's the same. She has all those qualities that I don't have. Extremely talented. She's good, uh, also very good with people. Uh, motivating them. A little bit better, quite a lot better at concentrating than me. We worked together for many years in carte blanche but actually we didn't actually work so much together together physically no. which is I suppose really that we sort of yeah. suddenly fell in love yeah hmm. and left <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what happened we sort of became a couple and then uh, we left moved to Sweden and actually deciding to try and stop dancing. Which, no, that was really difficult. And it, but that was good because it made you uh, aware of what you actually had. And uh, to get depressed and then start over again, which we did when we came back here to Norway, was just brilliant. You felt revitalized. It was like buying a Chanel cream or something like that and putting it on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go into the kitchen and I can make a coffee. Is there something that uh, you always do in the kitchen? Yes! <laughs> and that happens every Saturday. I have to eat every hour. Because I'm a, I'm a Pausikungen, I was called at some point in my life. Oh, uh, were you? A bit, because ah, I... that's good to know. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <gasps> that's true. Yeah. Ten minutes. <laughs> Ten minutes of work, I need to eat some nuts. I need a coffee. <laughs> my underwear. Yes. I need to go to the toilet. I know. I need some water. <laughs> I think it's... Something. I think it's... Uh, uh, I actually still work, but I work up here. And he works much less than I do for the same results. <laughs> well, well, sometimes. I mean, yes. I wish I could be like that, but I'm not. It's just... We had tour in Finland in Kuopio with uh, Ingrid Jansgård. And I came home with these Finnish glassware. <laughs> <coughs> and also gin tonic glasses from uh, Look. Aren't they nice? He came home with this. It's a death it's mask. A death mask. We don't know who it is. And you, but he said it, be, it be, because death masks are only made from sort of famous people or rich people. But so we call him Hugo. Hugo, it's anyway. Hugo yeah. This is from South Africa I bought. It's probably really rip-off. I broke it. Yeah. It's got no hand. <laughs> Sorry. That's Susie when she was uh, four. Well, they're one of my peers is very cute on that. The one of me, I don't know, it's weird. Always cute. Yeah. That's Susie before the operation. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see. Yeah. <laughs> before, I love sex in the city, is that wrong? No, it's not. It's a surprise, I suppose, really. That we sort of yeah. suddenly fell in love. <laughs>